Hi there, I'm Dr. Stewart, and today we're going to talk about the um, the muscles of the arm, but we're really going to focus on the posterior view of the arm. And I'm going to try to cover both the upper arm and um, the forearm in one um, in one go. So um, here we go. So here's obviously the uh, posterior view of the uh, left arm. Okay, and so what you can see here is that let's kind of zoom in. We're going to focus on the triceps first because that's the one muscle of the upper arm that we weren't able to cover in um, the previous lecture. So let's add a new layer and um, the triceps muscle is going to be the major uh, muscle that extends the elbow and it's going to be located on the back of the upper arm. It consists of three different heads, triceps, three heads. It's going to have the long head which is right here, the medial head which is right there, and then the lateral head which is on the lateral side of the arm. So if we were to kind of draw this out, we were going to have um, a common tendon that inserts right here on the olecranon of the ulna, and that common tendon is going to kind of branch out into the three heads of the triceps. The lateral head is going to be on the lateral side, and that lateral head is going to be positioned right here. The lateral head is going to insert um, just below the head of the humerus, kind of on this posterior side. So that's going to be kind of the lateral head of the triceps right here. Now the medial head is going to kind of insert... So we have the lateral head, the medial head is going to be positioned right there, and then the long head is going to start out here right below the glenoid cavity on the scapula, and he's going to kind of come in like that. So really I need to take the eraser, and I'm going to need to erase part of the medial head and that's really kind of what the triceps looks like in a nutshell. Let's give him a color. Let's give him an orange color. That'll work for him. Perfect. So this is the triceps. And let's give him some fiber angles. He really is more of a fiber angles of this muscle kind of spread out like this. And then like that. And they all converge in this common tendon that pulls on the, the electron onto the ulna, which causes that arm extension. Okay, good. Now, let's kind of switch gears, and we're going to go down more to the forearm, this posterior view of the forearm. And we're really going to start with a series of deeper muscles that uh, lie very deep within the arm. Now, the first muscle that... Uh, I'd like to kind of talk about is going to be um, first one is going to be called the anconius. Now the anconius is going to be a muscle that stretches from just below where the triceps inserts in the olecranon of the ulna over to the lateral condyle of the humerus right about there. So that is the anconius and he's going to work synergistically with the um, triceps muscle. So he's going to help to extend the arm. Obviously he's not going to be nearly as powerful. So that is the anconius muscle. His fiber angles run like that. Okay, very small muscle. Now, um, next muscle that we need to talk about is going to be called the supinator muscle. Now the supinator muscle, we've mentioned him on the other side and what this supinator does is that he is going to start basically right next to the anconius and he's going to wrap around the radius to the other side of the radius where he inserts on the anterior side. So he's going to start right here and he's going to kind of wrap around like this, like that. His, we're going to give him, I don't know, maybe like a green color. I can't remember what he did in the previous lecture, but that's going to be the supinator. And his job is going to be to twist the arm in a supinating um, kind of direction. Now his fiber angles are really running like this. So they run around the arm where he inserts on the radius on the other side, pulls, and he causes that supination motion um, to occur. 
All right, good. Now, as we extend down the, the ulna, we're gonna have a series of these deep muscles that are gonna wrap around and they're gonna um, control the thumb um, digit, the, your, your index finger. Okay, the first muscle that starts out um, next to the supinator, this is gonna be called the abductor pollicis longus. Okay, now this abductor pollicis longus is going to start right here along the ulna, and he's gonna wrap around the radius, and then he's gonna insert right here at the base of the first uh, metacarpal, your thumb. Now, we're gonna give him a blue color, how about that? And this is the abductor, pollicis longus. So abductor, he's going to abduct, pollicis, the thumb, and the longest while he's long. Okay, so we'll give him some fiber angles that look like this. Whoa, no, like this. Okay, so he extends all the way out to the thumb. When he contracts, he causes the thumb to abduct away from the rest of the hand. Okay. Next to him is going to be another muscle, and that's going to be the, no, excuse me, the extensor pollicis brevis. All right. So this guy is actually going to start right here. He's also going to wrap around the radius like this. But his tendon is going to go all the way out to the distal digit. And that is going to cause the thumb to extend like that. All right, so we'll give him, um, how about an orange color? This is going to be the extensor pollicis brevis. Okay. And his fiber angles are going to look like that. Perfect. All right. Now um, we're going to have a series of two other muscles. that um, are going to also, on um, this next one, next to the extensor pollicis brevis, is going to be the extensor pollicis longus. He's also going to extend out to the thumb. Um, we're going to give him more of a, I don't know, an aqua blue color. First, let's draw his outline. He's going to start right here, and he's going to extend out also to the thumb, so like almost a uh, tendon that follows that same path, and he is going to be the extensor pollicis longus. All right, so extensor pollicis longus, and his fiber angles are gonna run like that. So these are all deep muscles. And then finally, the last muscle that originates from this ulna deep is gonna be the extensor and deces, which is going to extend out your index finger, is going to be located right here. And with a name like that, he's going to have a ten ex um, tendon that extends out to the, the distal digits of the index finger. And let's give him more of like a purple, how about like a faded purple color? That is the extensor and deces. When he contracts, he's going to extend out um, your index finger. All right, perfect. So he causes that to occur. All right, perfect. So those guys are all uh, quite uh, deep muscles. Now we can kind of talk about the muscles that lie on top of all those. So I'm going to add another layer that is on top of those guys. And um, the first thing that we need to talk about, let's see here, is that... Hmm. How can we start this? All right. So all these muscles, um, most of these muscles on the posterior side of the forearm that are going to lie on top of these deeper muscles, they are going to um, originate from uh, this lateral condyle of the humerus right here. And um, the first one that you're going to see emerge next to the anconius, that's going to be the extensor carpi ulnaris. Okay, so this extensor carpi ulnaris is going to come down. I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to erase. Uh, let me draw the first one. This extensor carpi ulnaris is going to come down. 
and he is going to insert at the base of the fifth metacarpal and he's going to have this shape right there. Now that we've kind of drawn out his position, I'm going to remove all those other muscles that we've talked about so, so we can see it more clearly. I'm going to give him like a sky blue color and this guy is going to be called your extensor carpi ulnaris. His origin is the lateral condyle of the humerus. His insertion is the base of the fifth um, metacarpal right there. And when he contracts, he's going to extend out your wrist. Okay, let's give him some fiber marks that look kind of like this. Okay, good. Now, next to him, you're going to have um, another muscle, which is going to... Also, start right here next to the extensor carpi ulnaris, and he's going to be a, um, a slightly smaller muscle, which is going to be quite thin, and he's going to extend down. If I zoom in. And he's going to have a tendon that extends to the digits of the, the pinky finger, right? And his name is the extensor digiti minimi. And I'm going to give him more of like a purple color. So he is the extensor digiti minimi. Digiti minimi. Okay. Next, you're going to have a very prominent um, muscle that also starts from this lateral condyle of the humerus extend out to all of the different um, er, digits two, three, and four. Okay, so he's going to come out and he's going to start here and he's going to have tendons that extend out to digits two, three, and four. This is the extensor digitorum, so he's going to have twin tendons that come out to that finger, to this finger, and to that finger. Two, three, and four. And this is called your extensor digitorum. Um, let's give him a, kind of like a greenish color. So that's the extensor digitorum. Let's add some fiber angles to these last two muscles so we can kind of see what's going on there. They all look like that. And then finally, the last muscle that's going to originate from that um, lateral condyle of the humerus is going to be your, yeah, it's going to be your extensor carpi radialis brevis. All right. This guy is going to start here, and he is going to insert at the base of the second metacarpal. Okay. So let's give him, I don't like run out of colors, about like a pale red extensor. Carpi radialis brevis. Okay. He's going to have five wrinkles that look like this. Now, the extensor carpi radialis longus is actually going to originate not from the same spot on the lateral condyle of the uh, humerus. He's going to um, originate a little bit higher up or a little more proximal, so right about there. And this guy is going to wrap around like this. And he is going to also insert at the same spot. But this guy is called the extensor carpi radialis longus. And we'll give him a new color. How about this kind of grayish blue? Extensor carpi radialis longus. Okay, let's give him some fiber angles like that. Now finally, remember the good old brachioradialis? He was that large muscle. I think I drew him in yellow. He is going to occupy this lateral border of the forearm next to the extensor carpi radialis longus. Now this guy is a very large muscle. He's going to originate right here 
um, above the extensor carpi radialis longus, and he's going to extend out like that. And if you remember, he inserts at the base of the um, styloid process of the radius, and he is going to have a yellow color. I think that's what I used in the last lecture, and that is your brachioradialis. His fiber angles are kind of, kind of wrapped around like this. So really, I know this is complicated, but learning the order of these muscles is important. And in this view, it goes from lateral to medial. It goes brachioradialis, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Then we go extensor digitorum. In purple, you have the extensor digiti minimi. And then in blue, you have the extensor carpi ulnaris. Now, the medial border of the forearm from this view is not the extensor carpi ulnaris in blue. It's actually going to be the flexor carpi ulnaris that we talk about from the anterior view. That's because it's such kind of a meaty muscle that whereas this, that's this kind of medial border is going to be the flexor carpi from the medial condyle of the humerus. So let's draw him out and he's going to extend down like that. Okay. I can't remember what color we used in the previous lecture, but in this one we'll use like a purple like that. How about that? Hello. Oh, black. Okay. And that's going to be your flexor, carpi, ulnaris. And he is going to have those black fiber angles that stretch like this. Okay. <laughs> Quite complicated, but those are the major uh, muscles of the arm. If we show you the other ones that we drew before. This is what everybody looks like, all right? So let's draw the deeper ones first, all right? Obviously, you have the triceps muscle, you have a long head, medial head here, lateral head there, yellow and coneus, green is the supinator, blue, adductor pollicis longus, orange, extensor pollicis brevis, blue, extensor pollicis longus, and light blue, and then in purple, you have the extensor indices. The muscles on top of that, right, are all of these guys. Wow, it is really complicated. You're going to have in yellow the brachioradialis in this little gray color. That's your extensor carpi radialis longus. You're going to have in this brown color. That's your extensor carpi radialis brevis. Forest green, that's your extensor digitorum. Um, the darker purple is your extensor digiti minimi. He extends out the pinky. Light blue, extensor carpi radialis, ulnaris, extensor carpi ulnaris, and finally, in this bright purple, you have the flexor carpi ulnaris from the anterior side. And those are the muscles of the arm. I know it's a lot, but that's it. Thanks, guys.